hello friends welcome or welcome back to shadow play tarot thank you so much for joining me here today friends if you're new to the channel welcome make yourselves at home there's plenty of content to catch up on and if you're returning well friends i tell you all the time thank you so much thank you for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on the channel you guys know i love hanging out with you guys here it's only my hope that you guys are entertained while you're here and also hear some messages that can help you in your real life off of the internet friends that's always the intention that i set for these readings um, for anyone that isn't aware yet, I am um, doing a little giveaway over on the community page. I'm giving away three mini readings. Um, yeah, I'll be choosing three people at random. So if you want to participate in that draw, just leave me a little comment over on that post. Um, it's my 10K giveaway. Thank you so much. Um, such a big milestone for me, guys. Um, I'm just so honored and thrilled that you guys are writing this out with me and I appreciate you. So my way of giving back, like I said, is picking three of you at random. Um, the giveaway does close on Friday, March 1st. So there are still a couple of days to join. Um, so yeah, let's get into it, friends. Um, today we are going to be looking into who is thinking of you and what do they want to say or what is it that they want? Um, basically like WTF, right? Um, yeah, so as always, friends, it's a collective reading on YouTube. So if I happen to pick up energy on someone that you don't want to know about anymore or you're just done with, I get it. You know, um, that just means it's not your story and that does happen. But you guys know I'm going to constantly remind you of that because I know it can be triggering and I get it. And it's not something that I do on purpose. <laughs> All right. We have three groups to choose from. We have group number one. Group number two and group number three. Whenever you're ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. <laughs> Today, we're going to be looking into who is thinking of you and what do they want to say or what is it that they want? I don't know. We're just going to be digging in, friends, and trying to get as much information for you as possible today. We're going to first be asking the question, who is this that's thinking of you? And then we'll be moving into, you know, WTF, do they want? Um, friends, please keep in mind, it's a collective reading on YouTube. If I happen to pick up energy on a past person that you don't want to hear about, my sincere apologies. But that just means that you're listening to a story that's no longer yours. Same Z's if you're confused about what I'm saying, or it's not making sense to you, or you're triggered by what I'm saying, or by my delivery, if you just don't like what I'm saying, that happens too. Those are all just indicators that it may not be your story. I feel like the um, bigger the group that we get, the um, I just have to remind you guys, because I never know when people are joining in. <laughs> all right, my group number ones, let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for the collective and my group number ones. My group number ones, please, Spirit, who is this? Who is this that's thinking of them? Who are we going to be channeling in this reading? Who is this person that's thinking of my group number ones? And what can my group number ones know? Who is this person? How would my group number ones know who this is? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. Who's thinking of them? Who's thinking of them? For some of you, it's a Scorpio. Messages for my group number ones. Who's thinking of my group number ones? All right, we have the Two of Swords. Oh, they're looking. They're looking but not touching this person. I feel like they're... So there's someone who's really attractive, very charming, of course, and they're just pulling back, but their energy's still very much present because they are thinking about you. They're thinking about some kind of good times or how good it's going to feel to see you again. I do feel like they've been distant from you for a bit and they're not liking it. So their thoughts are in like kind of involving revisiting this situation. But this is someone who disappointed you or they're disappointed in what's going on and they've been like unsure what to do. This is someone who is probably like indecisive. Oh, look, you guys could have worked with them or they own their own business. This is someone that I think you guys had like. You could have had like good potential that you felt maybe with this person or 
you guys got along really well. It's like, it's almost like knowing different things or like having knowledge of different components of something. And then when you come together, it just like makes sense. So you guys are like different, but compatible. There we go. Compatible. You guys are like different, but both have your own separate styles. Like even of like dressing, like there's something very particular about each of you. But then again, it's like complimentary. Why the hanged man? Who is this that's thinking of them? Why the hermit? Yeah, they're holding back. And it's like they're not ready for a new beginning or there hasn't been able to be a new beginning here. Why the world in reverse? Why the sun? So they've come to... Yeah, it, it's like in the distance, like now that they have this distance, it's like they feel like they can think more clearly about the situation and they're realizing that they're disappointed in the way that things currently are between you guys. They are thinking to some either time you had in the summer, someone could be a Leo or some time outside how you looked. They're thinking back for some of you. They like caught a glimpse of you like in the sun or I don't know. They got mesmerized, bitches. Men <laughs> mesmerized by your beauty. Or yeah, they're thinking back to something that happened in the summer. They're realizing. Oh, they're realizing some shit. They're realizing just how disappointed they are or how they didn't want things to be like this. They don't like the way things currently are between you guys. This is also someone that wasn't like either taking, wasn't acknowledging to themselves how they either felt about you or the situation, or they just weren't being real about it. And now it's like they're, having the consequences of their own actions. This is someone who now it's like they want to put in the effort. What is this? Towards committing? They want to come towards you the right way, but they feel like you got tired of their shit. Uh, they were breadcrumbing and now they're like realizing that if they want this to change, they're realizing that what would need to happen is that they put the effort in consistently. There's also something here about, so the Hierophant, obviously, you know, it, to me, it's like structures, morals, beliefs, but it also feels like roles we have to play, not have to play, but um, maybe things that we have become committed ourselves to committed to learning as well. Maybe this person, maybe someone's in therapy and it's making them kind of realize that they need to put more effort into this situation or opportunities in general. It's almost like during this time, they're kind of fighting themselves or struggling or starting to realize the truth to things. And they might be having like an oh shit moment. It's like a realization of them needing to put in effort and like fighting for this. They are keeping a distance or they have been at a distance. And they feel like you've gone cold or like closed off. Maybe you don't give them the same attention anymore. Why the two of swords in reverse with the three of swords? Messages for my group number ones, please. Who is this person that's thinking of them? Returning. We almost knocked out all those cards. Or they're not like... They feel stuck in this or like not moving past it. They're unsure what to do. They still have a lot of like desire for you.
All right, so this is who they are. So if that sounds familiar with someone that you're dealing with, it's been on and off maybe or, yeah, definitely blocked. There's been something here that happened and it doesn't feel like they like where you guys currently stand. Thank you, spirit. So what is this person, what, what are they... What else can we know? <laughs> spirit, take the wheel. What else can we know, Spirit? What is this person thinking of when it comes to my group number ones? What else can we know about what this person is thinking of? What else can we know, please? Why is this person thinking of my group number ones? Why is this person thinking of my group number ones? Thank you, Spirit. Why are they thinking of my group number ones? What are they thinking and why are they thinking of them? Thank you, Spirit. They don't want the drama between you guys anymore, but they're unsure what to do. They're even like maybe unsure of what's going on. A part of them just wants to give up. It's like white flag surrender. They might like be feeling powerless in the situation. Yeah, but they're just not stepping forward. They're not ready to take control. They want this, but they're not sure how to do it. And if anything, um, the only way they can think of making progress here, you guys are not going to like what you're, what I'm about to say, but you'll know if it's for you, it's not for everyone. But for some of you, the only way that this person thinks of doing this is by manipulating the situation in their favor, meaning maybe they're going to wait it out and see if you'll reach out or maybe they're going to wait it out and see if they run into you or if there's something that kind of eases it and makes it easier for them to get what they want which essentially what they want is a reconnection back with you they don't want the drama they want to move on from that but they're not stepping up and actually know how to do something about it and here's the thing i think this person definitely has had opportunities and they just don't why the five of wands This, it's like a, maybe this is them like repeating a past cycle of how they move through situations like this or how they handle conflict. And it's very undecisive. It's like, can't we just be happy? Can't we just let that go? Can't we just forget? Can't we just move forward? Why the magic? Oh, why the magic in reverse? Why the magician in reverse? Because this person's in reverse. Why the emperor? Yeah, so they want to come in and just, you know, get you all hot and bothered or all excited. They want to come in and, you know, get you razzle-dazzled, perhaps. Have fun. Reunite. Hang out do what you guys do but they're keeping it at a page level it's like they want to band-aid the situation by coming in and like you know getting spicy with you perhaps being flirty being fun being super fucking cute but also annoying because they're not coming in as the emperor upright. They're doing it in a way where it's magician in reverse. They're still manipulating it. It's almost like, can, can, we, can we forget if I am cute enough, if I make you laugh, if I, you know, get you feeling some type of way, can we just, can we just hang out? Can we just reconnect? Can we forget about this stuff? So it's repeating some kind of pattern for them. That's how they handle conflict. What else, please? What are they thinking? What are they thinking when it comes to my group number ones? Yeah, they want to, they're like over it. Look at, and as I say that, four cups. They want to like, they are, they're over whatever you guys went through. They're like, let's just, let's, let's move past it. Let's just have fun. Let's just reconnect. And can you not ask me about what we are or what this means? Or can you, can we not talk about, you know, what else you want from me right now? Can we just focus on this? Can we just do what we want to do, which is this? 
surprised we don't have the ace of wands they want to heal this but look they've been fantasizing about you a lot about things that they want to do to you or with you and that's what's uh, pushing them to come towards you they miss you they want to you know they want to catch up yeah, they want to have some kind of conversation with you, see what you have to say. They want to hear what you've been up to. They definitely want to hear you, like, talk. But when it comes to them, they're going to keep it light. They want to hear all about you. They are, like, find you very intoxicating, your energy. But when it comes to them speaking, they're like, oh, yeah, I've been good. Yeah, I've just been working. Yeah, you know, same old, same old. And then they're like, so... uh you know, you look good tonight. <laughs> You're looking good. Oh, my group number ones. All right. Well, now that we know a little bit about that, let's see if there's anything that they want to say to you. Thank you, Spirit. What does this person want to say? What does this person want to say to my group number ones? What do they want to say? What do they want to say to my group number ones? Thank you, sir. What do they want to say? Thank you, sir. What does this person want to say to my group number ones? The person that's thinking about them, what do they want to say to my group number ones? <laughs> They're like, I don't want to say anything. I just want, <laughs> they don't want to talk. <laughs> they don't want to talk. They just want to come in and be happy because they miss you. They're like, if anything, I want you to talk. I want to listen. This person misses hearing, I don't know, your stories or what you have to say, what you've shared with them. They feel blocked off. So if anything, I don't think they want to talk. They want to know what's going on with you and then they want to physically connect. What did I say? They don't want to talk. They want to shove their wand around or even vice versa. <laughs> they uh, they want to shut you up with the wand, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know, guys. This person doesn't want to talk. Yeah. They're, they want to reconnect. They want to have you. They know. They, they know what they've done. They, they know what you want. They know what you deserve. But they also know that they miss you. And they don't feel like they have enough to give you. And they're like, fuck it. Like, I just want, I, I want group one. I want to taste. I want to, I want time. I want energy. I want to see what they're up to. I want to know what they're up to. I want to hear them talk to me, but I'm not ready to answer number one's questions. I don't want to talk about the same thing. They're going to keep it light. Matter of fact, they're even like happy seeing pictures of you. And they're just going to tell you about work. <laughs> Oh, man. And let me tell you, this person, you may not think that they open up to you, but they open up to you more than they do with other people. This person's just stubborn. And they are so attracted to you. Yeah, and they want to come in and connect. That At the end of the day, that's what I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. So we keep having the Empress show up, so Taurus and Libra, and then Aquarius with that star card. But we have all signs showing up, to be honest. TBH. All right. This says you already know who this is. So if this is your reading, hopefully that resonated. My group number ones. Well, okay then. Let's get some oracles and some letters for you guys. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. What else can we know about this person that's thinking about them? What else can we know about this person? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. What else can we know about this person? What else can we know about this person that's thinking of them? Messages. Messages about this person, please. Thank you, Spirit. So I do, I was going to say, I wasn't going to bring it up, but 
as always, I should just bring it up when I think it, I do think you are going to be hearing from this person eventually. Um, now that's for those of you that this, you're so open to this or there's a way for them to communicate with you. Um, I do feel like it comes in through a DM or a text. And then we have, um, kids, this is, um, this is America online back in the day. It was like one of the first internets. Um, anyway, DM. That was the equivalent of a DM, but it was called an instant message. It just popped up on your screen. We have let them keep sleeping on you. So maybe you feel like this person's been sleeping on you. You're just in your Barbie mode, um, just being you and adorable. We have you are the creator of your own destiny. Make it pretty. This makes me think that you're being self-focused, which is awesome. Maybe you did pull your attention away from this person and you're like, forget that. And now they're feeling that, right? Because we saw that they, they know you're not giving them attention. We have be extra mindful of your words. This person could be afraid of saying the wrong thing. And then we have another incoming messages. So yeah, this person, oh, you know what this is? They're trying to, let me get a couple more. I feel like there's more messages for you. I feel like they are writing a message and deleting it. They're trying to figure out that two of swords. They're trying to figure out the best approach. Um, cause yeah, they want to connect with you. We have King Ding Dong. So this person could be acting like a King Ding Dong makes me think of King Dingling too. Um, and then we have salty AF spam. Ooh, someone here could like, like spam musubis or spam and eggs. Uh, but someone could be salty as well in the situation. Maybe they think that you're salty, um, for what happened. Let's get some initials for you guys. All right, let's see. We have F I, we have fi finish. All right, we have finish. We have three Fs, lots of Fs, maybe lots of fantasies of fucking, I don't know, this person. <laughs> it just seem like they're thinking about physically connecting with you, if possible. I, I, and if I, I mean, if possible, because it feels like for those of you that have already hooked up with this person or had some kind of physical encounter, it's like that's kind of fueling them, like thoughts of that. That could also be of what they're thinking back about. We have XC, which makes me think of ecstasy. And then we have Q as well. So RJQ, WG, lots of Fs. So repeat letters, their name, your name, first name, last name. All right. My group number one, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, my group number twos. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading friends. <laughs> today, we're going to be looking into who is thinking of you and why. Well, what do they want? Um, you know, do they want to say something to you? We're going to be looking into all of those things, getting as much information for you as possible, my group number twos. Um, as always, I'm going to remind you that this is a collective reading on YouTube. So my sincere apologies if I do pick up energy of a past person you don't want to know anything about. Please know that just means that it's no longer your story. I, that could be someone else's timeline, though, that we're talking about. The other thing is, if um, you find the messages confusing or triggering, if you don't like my delivery or if you don't like me, um, that's okay, too. It's just, you know, all indicators that this um, this isn't your reading. All right, my group number two, thank you for joining me here today. Let's begin. We're going to begin by asking the question, who is this person that's thinking of you? That'll give you indicators if you know who this is, if this reading is for you. And then we'll be moving into what are they thinking and why are they thinking of you? And then what do they want? Do they want to talk to you or, or what's going on? Um, so yeah, let's dive in. My group number two will also be doing oracle cards and initials at the end. All right, let's get to it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number twos. My group number twos, please, Spirit. Who is thinking of them? Who is this person that's thinking of my group number twos? How would they know who this is? Who is this person? Indicators for my group number two as to who this is that's thinking about them. What can you tell us about this person that's thinking about them? This is someone who currently feels blocked or they are blocked by you or they blocked you. I don't know. Communication's blocked. Who is this person? What can we know about them? Messages for my group number twos. Who is this? It's thinking of them. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. 
Who is thinking of them? How would my group number twos know who this is? Who's thinking of my group number twos? Thank you, Spirit. All right. We have the Two of Cups. <laughs> okay. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. We have the Queen of Swords. All right. Well, it's someone that feels a connection to you with that Two of Cups. Who is thinking of my group number twos, please? Who is this that's thinking of my group number twos? Oh, Six of Wands. Oh, someone misses you. This is someone who, um, we'll come back to that. There's a lot of messages. They either get attention or they want your attention or they're kind of, they're definitely missing you with that five of coins. So it makes me think it's not someone that you're with, but this is someone that feels a strong bond to you with that two of cups. This is someone that you walked away from or they're walking away from something. Someone could have walked away from this connection. Why the four of cups? Who is thinking of my group number twos? Oh, this is someone who, they like you. <laughs> that, page of, that page of wands. This is someone who kind of hides their attraction to you, or this could have been a friends with benefits situation or someone who's just like horny for you. They're missing you right now. They kind of view you as someone who's maybe gone cold on them or closed off. And in return, they are now kind of pretending to reject you. I'm saying pretending because this magician in reverse, it's like you're not fooling me, buddy. Um, you're doing something trying to get my attention. So that I don't know if you're trying to get their attention or if they're trying to get yours. It just feels like someone's trying to pretend they're not feeling any type of way about this. And it's like, look, I'm fine. I look fine. I'm successful. I'm getting attention you know, I'm good. I'm good. And at the same time, they're feeling five of pentacles over you. Someone here could be an Aquarius or um, someone here is well known or I don't know. Um, that's kind of a side message. This is almost getting like local celebrity <laughs> energy. That's not for everyone, but that might be for some of you. Um, I am getting the feeling though that someone is seen or uh, maybe it's online. Someone has a big um, presence or this is somewhere where they can connect with you. Um, there's almost like the feeling of wanting to have a healing conversation and they feel hopeful. Um, they do feel hopeful that they can kind of like thaw out your heart a little bit or maybe theirs. I don't know. It's almost like, um, it's almost getting like energy of an air sign wanting to connect. Um, just because it's coming off from a little bit of a cold place and trying to be like tactical about it. But there's also a lot of desire that's hidden. Um, and also a dash with a dash of manipulativeness, um, a quarter teaspoon of, of manipulativeness. <laughs> All right, we have queen of coins in reverse. So I don't think that you are giving them the attention that they want or that they are seeking. They could be trying to grab your attention by things that they post online, um, by making it seem like they're very carefree or they're, you know, they're all good. But at the same time, um, it doesn't feel like they are. The readings being kind of, you know, five of coins and queen of pentacles in reverse. It makes me feel like someone's having some kind of struggle. This is someone who feels like they're at a fork in the road and they're not sure what to do about the situation with you. They know that they want to move towards you, but they're also either not ready to or they're unsure. They're fighting themselves as well. Messages for my group number twos. Who is this, please? Who is thinking of my group number twos? Who's thinking of my group number twos? Thank you, Spirit. Who's thinking of them? This is someone that you're currently on a break from. This is someone that you could feel um, telepathically connected to or psychically connected to. You might feel them thinking of you or you might feel their presence or their energy around. This is someone that feels tightly bonded to you in a way that they can't really describe. And because of that, it makes them go four of cups. They're like, I'm just going to check out. But at the same time, they can't help but keep looking your way or keep looking for you or like, think of you, you know, it's like your essence is with them. Hence that two of cups. This is someone who um, gets signs about you or like thinks that they get messages from you. 
this is someone who almost feels like mesmerized by their attraction or their desire or how it took them by surprise, how they feel or why they're still feeling this way. We have Pisces coming through and Aries. And we already said Aquarius. Earth and air messages for my group. Number twos, please. Who's thinking of them? Anything else about this person? This is someone who's really in their head. They want to avoid a disaster or they're recovering from some kind of big event that left them feeling stuck. They weren't expecting it. Again, they weren't expecting to feel this way or they weren't expecting it to linger. Not the let it linger. <laughs> what? And the cranberries? Oh, yeah. This person's coming to some realizations. Interesting. They're, this is someone who's like generally closed off to love, but they miss you. So that's, uh, I'm almost getting like a sense of, I don't want to say annoyance, but they just kind of like try to ignore it. And I don't know if they're very successful all the time in ignoring. All right. Well, let's see. What are they thinking about when it comes to my group number twos? Thank you, Spirit. What's this person thinking about when it comes to my group number twos? What is this person thinking about? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What is this person thinking about? What are they thinking about? Thank you, Spirit. What and why is this person thinking of my group number twos? What do they think about my group number twos? Why are they thinking about them? What are they thinking? Thank you, Spirit. That they don't have the courage to come towards you. They don't have the strength, the courage. That someone is defensive. Maybe you're on guard. They feel left out. Oh, they miss talking to you. They miss you talking to them. They feel like you've gone cold on them. Oh, shit. I just heard, like, you'd been warned. Oh, <laughs> this person knew it was possible for you to do this or to pull back from them like this, but they, I don't think they were expecting it. This person still has, like, feelings for you. And they are very disappointed. They're heartbroken. That three of swords. Let's add salt into their wound. <laughs> Why are they heartbroken? What'd they do? You know I'm always going to side with you, group twos. Why the strength in reverse? Yeah, they don't have the courage to come out of this slumber. They're trying to pretend that they are fine. That they don't feel stuck but they are not happy. They're not happy. They, they feel defensive when it comes to you or when they think about you, they get frustrated or they're just like, they don't like feeling this way. They really miss you. More Aquarius energy coming through. Cancer as well as Leo or the Queen of Swords. They feel like you have them blocked or they feel blocked from talking to you. They feel, they feel like, um, you, I don't know. It's almost like you realized something or you made a decision and you're just like stepping away. And, and I don't think that they were expecting that or they weren't expecting to feel this way because it keeps coming up. Why the five of pentacles with the star, please? The world in reverse because they they're still hopeful because even though they miss you they don't feel like this is done yet because they love you but they're emperor they can't show you so this person thinks about how they feel about you and they also think about how like strong you are and no offense but they also kind of know how you can be a little um let's put it a little rougher on the edges even if you have a soft interior you guys could come off as being a little intense in the normal world maybe people would think you're a bitch. 
sorry guys, but you know what I mean? But like me, when I speak my mind or when I'm too honest, people might mistake that as something else. And maybe you're kind of similar as well, where you kind of say it how it is, or you have this ability to just put down a boundary and be like, well, that's what I had to do. And they kind of see that, but they admire that about you. This person, should I checkpoint it? <laughs> should I do it? I don't know. You guys can check yourselves, but the person that I'm picking up on, they're in love with you. Yeah. And they're realizing that. They're also realizing like how you kind of make them feel like they need to step up their game or not that you make them feel that way, but maybe you inspire them to, but that's also triggering to them. Because again, I'm getting that this person, if they had the choice, I'm going to be honest with you, babes, I don't think that they want to be feeling like this about you and you walking away or you disconnecting or that you not being around or whatever it was that happened, whatever the disconnect is. I, I don't think that um, they want to be kind of feeling like this and they're ignoring it, but it's almost like they can't ignore it because it's like they go back to this five of pentacles. They miss you. But like I said, they're hopeful because they don't think they're still hopeful that there's a chance and they really, um, they're trying to gather up the courage. I take it to have some kind of conversation with you to clear the air. All right. But no plan on how to do that as of now. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What does this person want to say, if anything? Or what do they want? What do they want or what do they want to say to my group number twos? Messages for my group number twos. What does this person want to say or what do they want with my group number twos? Thank you, Spirit. What does this person want to say? Ten of Cups that they feel happy with you messages from my group number twos what do they want to say they want to be honest with you this person has a hard time expressing like vulnerability you know they know it's almost like they're very passive when it comes to love or when it comes to feelings it's easier to for them to go into emperor mode and take care of business they want to tell you how sad they've been or how they had regrets. But it, it's like they don't feel like they're capable of even like how, they don't know how to express their emotions, perhaps. So if they they want to let you know how they're sad in their own way, <laughs> we have the Knight of Wands. We have the four. They want to come towards you. They want to know what's been going on during the separation. They want to come in and reignite this. They've been sad over this. What do they want to say? Yeah, during this hermit, they want to let you know that they've had some realizations. And being blocked from you or blocked from this, they, they weren't expecting that. They just want communication from you. They want to see you or they want to talk to you. Like even you saying hi to them would immediately make these swords shake out of them. They want to come, they want more here. They want to revisit this. You get them excited. But they also like, it's a six of coins. It's like, it's reciprocity, but it's also, they're not like coming in and pouring all this on you. It's almost like they're tiptoeing. They're, they're, it's, uh, they're very skittish almost, you know, it's like, almost like one of those cats that will like run under the couch for no reason, or like, it'll scratch you out of nowhere because it hears the sound outside. It's like, maybe that's what this person is like, that they need to see that you are safe, a safe place for them to approach. Meaning, are you still open to them? They would want nothing more than to communicate with you. That would make them so happy. Even if it was just like, I mean, I take, I get it talking as friends, just catching up. 
it's like any little bit. That's also that six of pentacles. Any little bit they would be happy with. Just a little sign. They want a little sign from you. And that will make them feel better. That will, they know that that's almost like them holding their breath. They can release that breath and they know that they can move this forward. They want a sign from you. They want nothing more than to have some kind of, um, even if it's a tiny little, tiny little interaction, all they need is some kind of indicator, some kind of green light from you. We have Aquarius has been dominating this read. So, okay, Aquarius, we also have Cancer and we have Virgo, um, Sagittarius as well, and Leo. Okay, I'm sorry, Miss Leo. Um, all right, my group number twos. Let's see, um, let's get some Oracle cards. I was looking around to see what, <laughs> what I brought over. We'll do Oracle cards and initials as well. We're going to do the 90s Oracle again and see what else what else we can get about this person that's thinking of you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What else can we know about this person that's thinking about my group number twos and apparently wants some kind of communication with them? What else can we know about this person? Thank you, Spirit, and the situation. Messages for my group number twos. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. Messages for my group number twos. Yes. Oh, that was a lot, but okay. All right, let me put those back and let's see. We got long journey ahead. The first one that came out was cheese balls. It's back. Oh no, not them coming back. Uh, cheese balls. This person might have like um, something that they say or a way to approach you that's a little cheesy, but it's a little cute. Um, maybe someone's afraid to look like a cheese ball. Then we have, you know, you got the juice, right? Someone here gets a lot of attention. Someone here is very attractive. Um, yeah, maybe it's their work or the way they dress, something like that. We have XOXO, you're a cute girl. This makes me think of XOXO, gossip girl. <laughs> uh, someone thinks you're cute. Also messages, someone could be sending you a message. We have the Oregon Trail. This has been a long journey. It's a long journey ahead, but this person has not given up. They're still hopeful here. We have expect a message. What did I say, friends? I am getting the vibes of them sending a message. Then we have answer the call, spirit. Maybe you've been feeling this. Yeah, maybe you've been feeling that they are going to message you after a long journey. We have salty AF. Maybe someone here is salty. Cheese balls are salty. So Maybe this person, you got the juice. Oh, maybe someone here had to hydrate after having all this saltiness. Guys, I'm seeing a theme over here. Yeah, this person thinks you have the juice. Look, and then we have a yoo Sweet surprise coming in three, two, one. Shake it. We're going to put that right there. Incoming message. Sweet surprise coming in three, two, one. All about them pentacles. We're going to put that on the Oregon Trail. Long journey ahead. Someone here could travel for work or has been, it's been a long journey in their career or trying to build stability. Um, and then we have ice them out. I see this person feels like they were iced out of your life and maybe that's what you did do. And then we have America Online. We have coming in fast-ish. Again, a message coming through. Let's put this right here. All right, and let's get some initials. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see what we have. We have men. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, we have men. We also have Ken. Someone's trying to be Ken F, perhaps. There's the O. We have MJ. We have another M. We have X. We have sex. And if, and if you need it, we also have sexo, so in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Another XO, kisses and O's. If you've kissed this person, they think about that. We have PIM, not the pimp, Q, F, and K. We'll move those up here. 
I hope you guys can see those bottom ones. We'll put them here. Oh my God, we do. Wait, do we have pimp? No, almost. All right, guys, I'm having too much fun. Listen, friends, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we're going to be looking into who is thinking of you and what do they want or what do they want to say? I don't know, friends, we're just going to be digging in. But this is a reminder that this is a collective reading on YouTube. So my sincere apologies if I happen to pick up energy on a past person that you are triggered by. Um, if that does happen, just know that we're probably picking up at a different point of the timeline that where you're at and it's no longer your story. So it's OK. That's the same if something happens to confuse you or trigger you, if you don't like what I'm saying or if you don't like my delivery. Those are all just indicators that it's not it's not for you my friends and that's okay um, the internet is a big place that brings us together so let's begin my group number three is thank you for joining me here today we're going to begin by asking the question who is thinking of you so who is this and how you'll know who they are this should help serve as confirmation that this is indeed your group and then we'll move into what are they thinking about and why are they thinking about you and then what do they want what do they want to say if anything at all all right, my group number threes, let's get to it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number threes. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. Oh, not the King of Cups, bitches. Come on now. What? We'll see if he comes out again. That, that uh, I know we don't believe in coincidences when that happens, but that's a little wink to someone. All right, <laughs> my group number threes. Thank you, Spirit. Who is this person? Who is this person that's thinking of my group number threes? Who is this person? Thank you, Spirit. Who is thinking of my group number threes? How would my group number threes know who this is? Who is thinking of them? Thank you, Spirit. Who is thinking of my group number threes? Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number threes. Who's thinking of them? Who is this? We have fixed signs coming through. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Who is thinking of my group number threes? Who's thinking of my group number threes? This is someone who has either moved. Okay, moved, moved on, or moved forward. Now, this could even be you. That because of the timing of things that you um, had to move on from. This is also someone who is working at bettering their situations. This could be someone that travels a lot for work, is owns their own business, or kind of, you know, maybe they're just someone who um, is always on the go. This is someone who's working at settling themselves in their life. I do think that they've triggered emotions in you already with this Queen of Cups in reverse. It could be them as well that they are shutting off emotionally. But more than anything, I kind of feel like someone here is triggered emotionally because of the timing of things. So someone has kind of, maybe someone here has just been focused on these other things. And that's what the timing is. And that's why love hasn't been a focus for them. Or, I don't know, hopefully it's not. Oh, we'll continue <laughs> before I go into that. All right. Messages for my group number threes, please. Who is thinking of them? Who is this is thinking of them? Yeah, um, it's been a, a little while since you guys have heard from them or have been around them. There is some kind of separation that I am feeling. Someone here um, decided to maybe drop this. This is um, someone that you didn't end up getting what you wanted here. This is someone who hasn't really been upfront or knows like said their intentions or made things clear why the chariot why the hermit interesting here's the thing it's that i feel you guys already have a bond with this person i just saw two of cups but i also saw queen of wands in reverse so this is someone that you're upset with this okay so whoever this is they're lacking they're lacking clarity here they're not understanding there's something here that they're not sure about what they do kind of know is they feel like you have either dropped them and moved on or moved forward and they're like okay i guess i'll do the same or okay um me too but it's almost like a a reaction instead of an 
actual like intention behind it. It's almost like, oh, we're moving on. Okay, I guess that's what we're doing. But I'm not really buying it. I'm not sure why, but we'll see. We'll see what comes through next. Now, the reason why I'm like, hmm, is because even though we're hermit, even though we're we're not together, this five of pentacles in reverse makes me feel like there's some kind of wanting to come back together. <sighs> yeah, it's. It's all, you know what, it almost feels like we're playing some kind of game. Or, I mean, I hate to call it a game. Maybe it's not, but I guess that's the energy I'm getting where they're like, oh, that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm doing that too then. You're, you're disengaging or you're, you're pulling back or, you know, you dropped this. Okay, that's, that's what I'm doing too. But they're doing it from an ace of swords in reverse, which they don't even know why they're doing it. <laughs> Why the King of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords in reverse, please? Can we clarify what is that? That there's some kind of inform. What? This person can't get over something that happened. But you guys didn't talk about it. And because of that, there could have been an assumption or there could have been something that someone saw that affected things but this person feels like they can't move on or let go from this even though see this is the this is the surface action i'm feeling but it doesn't feel the same it's like what is that called when the water looks calm on the surface and underneath there's a strong current maybe that's like an under i don't know i don't know about currents anyway that's what it feels like it feels like there's a lot going on beneath the surface and that's why when I was like, I don't know, guys, I'm not buying it. It's because this is what I was feeling. This person can't let go of this connection, but they're also like not sure. They don't know what to do. They don't even like, they're just kind of waiting. They're waiting to see if they hear something or if they hear from you or if, I don't know. So for now, that's why they're like, okay, I guess me too. I guess I'm moving on too or moving forward. Why the five of pentacles in reverse with the hermit? Why the five of pentacles in reverse with the hermit? So the only thing kind of keeping them away is their ego right now. Yes, that's what it is. Okay, thank you, Spirit, for that validation and clarification. That's why I was feeling that on the surface, on the surface, they're like, okay, yep, I'm going this way. See ya. But the only thing that's kind of fueling them is because they're not about to be the only ones that still care or that are still showing, I don't know. I guess it's pride, huh, that's coming through. We have Scorpio, we have Cancer, and Leo and Virgo coming through the strongest, but we have water and earth as well. All right, let's continue. So if this sounds familiar as to someone that you were dealing with or, yeah, are curious about. That two of cups tells me that they feel strongly about you, but they're not about to show it. They're like, I'm just going to work on my career, on my money, on my whatever I have going on. Thank you, Spirit. What is this person thinking about my group number threes? What and why are they thinking about my group number threes? Thank you, Spirit. What is this person thinking of my group number threes? And why are they thinking about them? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. What are they thinking about my group number threes and why? Messages from my group number three is they're thinking about how you're not talking to them. It, it kind of stung this person. I'm going to say a common theme in all three groups is that someone is salty. <laughs> Maybe it's consequences of your own actions. <laughs> I don't know. Group three's person. We'll see if that comes through. Thank you, Spirit. What are they thinking? What are they thinking and why are they thinking about my group number threes? Hangman. Page of Wands in reverse. 
What are they thinking about my group number threes? They feel shut out or they feel like you guys aren't even friends or I don't know. They're thinking about that. It's like it's all this stuff that they haven't been like wanting to admit. There's a lot of fear and mystery when it comes to you. And they're wondering what you're up to. And they're trying to see, like, they're just hanging back and they're like trying to see if they can get glimpses of you or news of you or updates. I don't know, something. It's almost like they're like, what is going on during this time? That as they're like walking away as well or moving forward, moving on, they're also over here thinking about with this moon card, secretly pondering on you, my friends. They're thinking about how you guys aren't on the same page. There seems to be that there was like a strong sexual chemistry here at one point. Why the hangman? They feel it's best for them to just pull back and let kind of go with the flow. Why the guru in reverse? Why the page of pentacles in reverse? They feel that you're like defensive. Maybe that you cut them out. They could also view you as getting a lot of attention right now or someone being very successful in their own way. Maybe there is something that you do that's bringing you a lot of attention and they feel like you're very guarded about who's around you. But then again, at the same time, they wonder who's around you. They feel like they think about how you're pulling back from toxic things or toxic people and they probably realize that they are one of them, even though they may be lacking the awareness of exactly how that is, or maybe they know exactly how that is. That's why they're trying to pretend that they're like unscathed. Which way do you want to go? I had a feeling they're heartbroken over this, but they are keeping this so buried deep down and low key. They think about you late at night. Why are they so concerned over group threes? What, why are they so concerned? What's this heartache and anxiety that this person is going through? Why? Because they want this. They feel powerless with this desire and these feelings that they have for you. And it makes them anxious. They're, they think about like, what if you've moved on or what's going on with you? And it's like, they don't want to hold back anymore. They try to be patient, but it's like, they're also like wanting to invest in this and nurture, but they also have a lot going on. This person's kind of a little bit, you know, it's like they want to do something and they have an excuse for why they don't. So then what they're going to do is they think about this so much. They think about how, this would feel how they feel about you. And then they think of it magically coming together without them having to really do much at this moment in time. It's almost like if I will it, or if I think about it hard enough, I'm going to will it into existence. And this person thinks about you a lot at nighttime or remembers things about you. Some things stress them out, maybe an ending. They're waiting. They feel like if they wait, things will become more obvious or things will work in their favor. Again, the feeling of I'm going to think about it so hard that something has to give, something has to come of it. This person's manifesting you from a place of heartbreak. This person's hurt. What did they do to deserve it? And they want an opportunity because you make them happy, but their approach isn't, it's, a, it's not really, you know, this is what they, this is the magic that we're talking about. Their little magical fantasy here, which obviously this is important to manifesting. If you're here, you're spiritual to some degree. So we know how to make things happen. But at the same time, what is manifestation? You need to co-create. You need to take action. Your manifestations are supported when you take action. And I don't know if this person is ready for that right now, but I know that they really 
want to. They dream about it. But for now, they're feeling, I mean, the moon, three of swords, nine of swords, the empress. They are concerned about you late at night, deep into the night, or deep in the bottom of their dark, wherever they keep things hidden within them. Let me do one more over here. Why the two of cups in reverse with the page of wands in reverse? Thank you, spirit. One more there. What are they thinking? Hermit, how you guys aren't talking. Yeah, how you've pulled away. They don't, they don't like that. They feel like they are a little, they get a little jealous too, thinking about again, what's going on with group three? What are who's in their life? Who's around them? Hmm. But they're playing it off, my friends, especially them being at work or in their element. They are they do good. It's not until they come down. So whether that's their day is unwinding or their mind is unwinding and then you pop in and they're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> My group number three is, all right, what does this person want or what do they want to say? Thank you, spirit. What does this person want or what do they want to say? To my group number threes, what can you tell us? What does this person want to say to my group number threes? Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number threes. What does this person want or what do they want to say to my group number threes? Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number threes. Messages for my group number threes, please. What does this person want or what do they want to say? We have the Ace of Wands. They want a new beginning. <laughs> of course they do we have the seven of pentacles we have the king of cups we have the sun card this person's very guarded and very closed off but they want to show you how they care or how they feel about you we have three of swords they they are just a tortured little soul over you they want to tell you something about the, how disappointed or how heartbroken they were. And they want to like reignite this with you. I am getting the feeling of like, they want to have some sexual healing with you. Um, if you've already hooked up with this person, they want to heal through that. It's like, they want to show you how much they care about you. And that's like their way of showing, or maybe it's like intimacy that comes with the physical, meaning that's when they feel more vulnerable or they can open up. They want to connect with you in that way. They want to spend time with you or they want to invest more into coming together. So it makes me feel like they want to talk. They, they are not ready to let this go. They want to tell you, they, they, they wish they could tell you how they feel. They feel king of cups. They feel a lot of emotion for you, but they don't express it. Um, you know, but it doesn't mean it's like not everyone's love language is words. You know, what is that words of affirmation? It's like this person's love language could be time that they spend or acts of service. I don't know. It just feels like they have their own way of showing you. This person feels a strong bond to you that I'm not sure if they fully comprehend or realize and maybe this time apart is making them realize because they don't want to feel stuck anymore they don't want to feel trapped in what they feel or how they feel about the current state that you guys are in whatever is going on in your connection why the sun card please they they want to tell you about all their hopes and dreams their fantasies the things they thought of they want to know everything about you I mean, they want, they want to hang out with you. They want to have this conversation in person, or they just want to have time where you guys get to talk about all of these things. And you guys, they want to, they want to know the ins and outs of even the mundane little things that you've been doing. This person fantasizes a lot about what they would say to you or what it would be like, but there is, look at so much, so much stress. They want to tell you about how hurt or how regretful or how much pain or something like that you know what is that the 13 of swords they they want to tell you what those 13 swords felt like and they want to be open about that with you maybe about how much it hurt when you guys weren't around each other or together um and they they don't want the drama 
they they want to just there's also a lot of sexual tension between you guys this person also fantasizes for those of you that have hooked up with them they want to like they want to have sex and like fall asleep together rest together yeah why the three of swords with the ten of swords why the three of swords with the ten of swords what do they want to say Oh, it's so hard for them to tell you what they want to tell you. They've been holding this in, but they want to share their dreams, their hopes, their desires wish, with you. And part of that is letting you know. So you know how, like I said, they don't express their love very well, but they feel like by letting you know how hurt they were, it's obvious how much they care. This person might also have, okay, this person might be slightly younger than you. It doesn't have to be. There could be a little age difference. If it's not that, it might be maturity difference. Um, but I will say you intimidate them because you're like serious business. You're like the bag that they don't want to fumble or they know that they fumbled and they feel dumb. You know, it's like they don't want to, they don't want to mess up. They're disappointed already. And they just want to, they want to fix this. They, it's like, I, it's like you you belong in my life or there's more here to our story or there's more the connection is too strong. I know this isn't the end, but at the same time they're really struggling with the current circumstances. So I do feel like this person wants to come in and heal this and they do want to come in as a more like healed version of themselves in order to have this reconciliation. But at this moment in time they're very unsure how to do that. So this is almost like what they fantasize about. Oh, look at that. This person's also realized a lot about you during this time apart. They're so attracted to you, so attracted to you, and they feel this deep bond to you. They feel to a cup soulmate energy, but they keep that hidden. They're afraid. They're afraid to be manipulated by love, or maybe they were manipulated in the past. Heavy Pisces energy. Some of them might even wonder if you did some kind of spell on them or work on them, some kind of spiritual work, and that's why they feel this way. <laughs> and even if you didn't, they're like, they feel so strongly about you. Yeah, there it is. This person's also avoiding you right now, but we did see that in the beginning. Because it's almost like they're waiting to see what you do. This person feels very like psychically or intuitively connected to you. But for now, it's like both of you are choosing to ignore and maybe moving on. Um, all right, my group number twos. That's what I have for you. This person is in their feels. They're stressed. I feel like this has been repeating for a few days, huh? In different ways. All right, my group number threes. Let's get your, let's do oracle cards and initials today. Thank you, Spirit. More messages for my group number threes, please. About this person that's thinking of them. What else can we know about this person and what they want to say or what's going on with them in this connection? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number three is this person that's thinking of them. What else can we know? You guys have made out with this person or kissed them. They think about that. They want to kiss you. I'm telling you, sexual reunion vibes coming through. Messages for my group number threes. Messages for my group number threes. What else can we know about this person that's thinking of them? Yeah, someone could be an earth sign or a business owner that the king of pentacles or the card that i that i uh, link in my head to being like the king of pentacles came out this person thinks that you guys are like power couple vibes you guys go very well together very attractive very charming we have take 
the risk or lose the chance. That's the rock between or stuck between a rock and a hard place for this person is that they know that they can lose a chance or maybe they already did. And that's why they're stressed. We have all about them pentacles. That's that card I was telling you guys about. They're all about their money right now. We have, but I ordered the steak though. It doesn't feel like what they thought it was going to feel like, or they didn't realize. Again, it's almost like they're realizing how much maybe you meant to them or how much they're affected by what's going on with you. We have old maid, sure, Jan, maybe you don't believe them anymore and you feel like you waited long enough. And that's why you walked away perhaps, or that's why you disconnected or distances, distanced yourself. We have sweet surprise coming in three, two, one. So um, you could have an unexpected message or unexpected surprise or change of circumstance in this situation. We have trust the universe. So this situation has probably made both of you need to surrender and trust to what's out of your control. Um, you guys could both feel very deeply connected to each other and it's just needing to work through some things like maybe if you don't want it to be i don't feel like your story is done personally it feels like there's still more here but some of you may be completely done with this person because again old maid you waited long enough um, but for those of you that still have hope here um, i do feel your person is coming to some realizations friends we have you have hella options like hella this person's afraid of losing you we're going to put that there, take the risk or lose the chance. But someone here has lots of options. They think um, that you get a lot of attention. They know that you do. We have like peas and carrots. We also have salt and pepper. So you guys are different, but the same, very compatible. You go well together. We have be extra mindful of your words. This person, someone here um, has receipts of what was said, but they're also afraid of how to approach you or what to say. It's very hard for them to open up. We have cry baby, extra sour. You kind of did it to yourself, bud. What did we say? You're like, sure, Jan, I don't believe you. You kind of did it to yourself. Listen, this person has probably had chances before, right, friends? We have expect a message. We're going to put that there, divine timing. You guys could be getting a message from this person or hearing some news about them, even if it's not directly from them. I do feel there's about to be a change of circumstance. We dropped one. Let me see. It was an S. So we'll just add an S to here. I can't reach it. It's behind the bowl. All right. We have um, H, M, H, E, M, Hem. We have G, Q. Oh, that's J, Q. Either a G, Q. <laughs> Someone's hot. <laughs> we have D, H. We have F, I, H. Lots of H's. So repeat, repeat letters or name your name. Oh, yeah. How many do we have? One, four. We have four H's. We have G, U, G, U. Then we have R, G, U, R. And another R and a W. All right. My group number three, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys.